Oh, hey there. Sorry, I'm just doing my push-ups. You might ask, Joe, why are you doing your push-ups? Oh, that's because I want to make sure that you don't think I'm weak. I want to make sure that I overcompensate so that you know that I'm enough. Yes, friends, I'm Joe Carlesi, the super brave teacher on a mission to tip Google, YouTube, and the world in a radically positive and accepting way. And today, we're gonna to talk about overcompensation. Gay overcompensation. Thanks for watching. So I always say it, speak from your scars, not from your wounds. So right now, I am speaking for my scars, not for my wounds. I do not feel that I spend the majority of my day trying to overcompensate for my identity, trying to overcompensate compensate for being enough or proving that I'm enough or worthy of your love. You, you, no. I am speaking kind of from this place of, okay, I'm not there yet. I'm not at all perfect with it, but I'm very aware of it. So that once I start getting to that stage of like, up, 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 you're trying to, you're trying to prove something. What are you trying to prove? I can pause and say, wait, stop it. So what is gay overcompensation? Gay overcompensation. Now notice I said gay overcompensation because I'm just staying in my lane. I'm not seeking for anybody else except me as a gay man. Gay overcompensation for me is when I do anything to overshow, to overcompensate my worth, to overcompensate that I am worthy of taking up space and worthy of being loved or whatever I might need. So in the past for me, you take something physical. I might overcompensate by always getting my workout in, by always making sure that my hair is just right and that I look just right so that that's not a barrier. And you're like, ooh, he might be gay, but he's pretty cute, right? And you think, oh, that doesn't happen. It happens. It might be emotional things that I do for other people. Oh, you wanna hang out? Oh, I can make that work anytime, anytime for you. As long as you wanna hang out with me, I will make it work for you. Or uh, let me, after we hang out, print out pictures for you and send you thank you cards and all these things. Now, that isn't wrong. But if I'm doing it because I feel I have to so that you truly know that I am worthy of spending time with, then it come, turns into overcompensation. Or I'm teaching and I, want, I don't want people to, to stress about me being a gay teacher, so let me be that teacher who goes over and above in every single thing he does, including when this guy gets exhausted. No, I'll just keep pushing through. No, I'll keep pushing through. No, I'll put, put pictures on the blog. No, I'll, I'll update the blog three times a day. Don't worry. No, I'll host this, this, this training event for everybody. And no, you, don't. I got it. I got it. And you see how even as I'm talking about it, it's like my brain is flooded because I know that I've done it so much emotionally, physically, mentally, even spiritually. Like, oh, to be welcome in this church, what do I gotta do? Do, I, do you want me to help out with the kid stuff? Got it. Do you want me to speak in church? Got it. Whatever it takes, I got it. Do you want me to just zip up and just be present? I got it. And it's instead of just showing up as I am and knowing that that is enough, I'm constantly, or I was constantly thinking, what do I have to do? to not only be present and show up, but also be awesome so that everybody knows that I'm awesome and that I'm worthy of being kept and being loved. Now, like I said, I'm speaking for my scars. I'm not speaking for my wounds. It is not something that I'm daily struggling with all the time, but it is something that I'm very aware of and it is very something that I'm very aware of around me you know, sometimes I go to the gym and I see gay people and I just want to give them a hug and be like, it's okay, like you can leave the gym. You don't need to be here for three hours a day to prove that you are strong. Or I see people just controlling their life so much because it's like, if I don't have this control over my life, then ugh, what's gonna happen because of that fear of being rejected again, or being lost again. So it's something that I know I'm not speaking perfectly or eloquently about all of this,
but I'm sharing it so that you can be aware of it. Not so that you have to fix it because my issues are mine to fix, but it really helps when you know these things so that when you see people doing it, you just empathize with them and you say, you know what? Sounds like, or it looks like this is going on. I just want you to know, you don't need to change anything. If you want to keep working out three hours a day, you go for it. But just know, you don't have to if you want to impress me because I love you and I care about you just as you are. So friends, super great friends, let's just be aware of any time gay people do things to overcompensate for their worth, to prove that they are enough, as you've probably seen me do, even on these videos, especially those early videos. I am enough just being me. Me just breathing makes me enough. You are enough just for being you. I don't need to drop down and do 200 push-ups just to prove that I'm strong. And you don't have to do anything to prove your worth. You hear that, Joel? You hear that? Take it in. You are enough. Bye, friends.